welcome. Let's start with the home gym. So we're on the third floor of our apartment complex with our home gym being in the living room, right next to the kitchen, right next to the dining room. So shout out to my wife who is behind the camera for putting up with me. The flooring is 3 8 inch fit lock rubber tiles from American floor mats. Each square is two by two feet. So I have 36 tiles total for this 144 square foot space, which is more than enough for my purposes. Obviously, since I'm on the third floor, I'm not dropping any weights on the floor, but what they do is protect the hardwood. Uh, and I do wanna note that they have a pretty strong rubber smell. So if you are putting them in your home or home gym, just be prepared to have your windows open. First up for equipment, I have the Power Block Elite Series adjustable dumbbells up to 90 pounds. I bought 70 pounds back in 2015 and just recently purchased the 80 and 90 pound add-ons. Adjustable dumbbells are my number one home gym recommendation because they take up very little space, they're versatile, they're easy to travel with, and they're relatively inexpensive given what you get. The dumbbells are sitting on top of the 24 inch Rogue resin plyo box. It's cheaper and lighter than any of the dumbbell stands and it's hollow so I store some miscellaneous items underneath that I don't often use. I had the dumbbells on the floor for over five years and just decided that I was over it. I'm 5'7", so you might go for a 20 inch box if you wanna use it for step ups or box squats, but this gets the job done for me. Next up, I have my custom made slant board for my friend Ryan Dodd. It's a 30 degree angle, so it's pretty steep but it's great for squats if you really wanna emphasize the quads or for heel raises for that stretch mediated hypertrophy. He made this as a favor to me because we're friends, but I don't know if you like it, reach out to him. He can probably make you whatever you want. All right, the centerpiece here is the Rogue 70 inch Monster Light squat stand with the smooth socket pull up bar. I love it, it's sturdy, but if my ceiling was higher, I definitely get the SML 2C. I like to do pull-ups, especially weighted pull-ups, and this isn't conducive for that unless you're significantly shorter than I am. I have the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. It does everything I need it to, and I'm pretty weak, so I probably can't even test its full capacity. All right, I have the Rep Fitness Flat Bench, which is pretty solid. After the adjustable dumbbells, a flat bench or incline bench would be my second home gym recommendation. And my third would be a pull-up bar that you stick in the doorway. I used those three pieces of equipment for most of 2020 and on and off since 2015. The bench is hanging on the wall mount matador hanger. I don't know if it'll work for the rogue benches, but it works really well for the rep fitness flat bench. The monster light matador is supposed to be hanging on there, but I store it on the floor. Dips are my go-to chest exercise right now. So I'm getting a lot of use out of this. I use the H52 multi-use hanger from Rogue to store my bands and accessories. An important thing to note is that it does not come with mounting equipment, uh, just like the mount behind me. On the hanger, I have thicker bands from Rogue, thinner bands from Committed HP, and Angles 90 grips. I also have this dip belt that I got from Brute Belt back in 2014. It's the best belt I've used for its purposes. Then I have these glute bands from Committed HP, which I like because they're comfortable, adjustable, and high quality. I have the Rogue Vertical Plate Tree 2.0. Serves its purposes. You can get wheels if you wanted to move it around. Obviously, I don't need that in my small space. For plates, I have the Rep Fitness bumper plates, as well as some change plates from Vulcan. My biggest purchase was probably this Rogue Echo Bike version 2.0. I don't do a lot of cardio because I walk my dogs about an hour per day, but we recently moved from Los Angeles to Tacoma, Washington, and I used to do more outdoor biking in LA. So I figured because of the weather here, the area that we live in isn't as bike friendly, and the fact that I'm not really doing any commuting were good reasons to get this, to get my heart rate up a few times per week. The last piece of equipment is this adjustable single leg squat stand from Perform Better. If you're new to the channel, it's a rehab channel and I'm a physical therapist with a total hip replacement. So my preferred leg exercise is a rear foot elevated split squat as opposed to something like a barbell back squat. I used a chair or couch for a really long time, but recently got this and like it for that purpose as well as hip thrusts. 
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is my uplift desk. This is by far the best desk I've ever had. If you're debating about which brand of standing desk you should get, just get an uplift desk. You're not going to regret it. I spend a lot of time here for working with remote clients, teaching, meetings, recording podcasts, editing, etc. And I can't imagine going back to my little LSIT desk that I had before. It feels good to be able to transition from sitting to standing and vice versa and move around while I'm on the computer for hours on end. And hopefully I can give you some insight into the size and accessories that might be suitable for you because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I needed. So this desk is 80 inches wide and 30 inches deep, which works well for me since I have a desktop and two monitors. But if you're rocking a Mac with one screen or you get the CPU holder that goes under the desk, you probably don't need something quite this large. So I have the standard V2C frame. I asked somebody at Uplift if I needed the commercial one since it is a big desk and I have a lot of weight on it and they said that I didn't need it. So I wouldn't spend the extra like $80 on that. For grommets, I wouldn't upgrade them personally. I got one power grommet and I don't even use it. Instead, I actually wish I would have gotten the under mount power with USB. It just looks a little bit cleaner and it's probably a little bit more convenient. Keypad. I'd 100% go with one of the advanced options. Mine is the Comfort Keypad. For accessories, if you have a lot of wires and wires really bother you, it might be worth getting one of the basic wire management kits, but it does come with some free stuff to help with that, so that's up to you. It's not a huge issue for me. I did get the Slim Desk Drawer, which I'm a big fan of, because you can store your belongings inside of it and on top of it to help keep your desk space clear. Overall though, you can't go wrong. You'll be happy with whatever you purchase. All right, so I'm gonna end this video by talking about the total cost and rationale for some of my purchases. I'm not going to give a complete itemized breakdown because the cost of gym equipment and shipping actually continues to go up. So my purchase price might not be relevant to your purchase price, but I'll still link everything down in the description. The entire gym would probably run you around three to $4,000, but there are some pieces of equipment like the Echo Bike and Split Squat Stand that are a little bit more expensive and unnecessary, so you can cut back on cost there. For the majority of what I have, I chose to buy nicer equipment for four main reasons. One, if you buy it nice, hopefully you don't have to buy it twice. Two, this stuff will have a higher resale value if I ever go down that route. Three, the gym ties directly into my work and how I make money. And four, these are the things that I value. My wife and I don't own a car. I don't buy nice you know, clothes and shoes and we don't really spend much money elsewhere. The uplift desk that I have would cost about $1,000. But like I said, I spend a lot of time there I feel like it's improved my concentration and just physical well-being. So the money is worth it to me. Other furniture that we have is from Amazon or my mom gave it to me back in college and I've just been holding on to it because I don't care to spend money on other things. But you know, my office, my desk, it's really important to me. I spend a lot of time in here, uh, especially in the past year. So it's worth it to have something a little bit nicer. Well, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. You might be wondering why I made this video on a rehab channel. And honestly, I've spent so many hours watching other gym tours, office tours, desk reviews, camera reviews, etc. that I just kind of wanted to give back. And hopefully I did that. And if you have any questions about the desk, about the gym, about the equipment, or about rehab, you know, just leave your comments or questions down below. Peace.